Welcome back. In this tutorial, I will explain how you can add your website's email to Outlook so you can easily send and receive emails. And in the previous tutorial, I already explained how you can add your email to your iPhone mail app. So if you want to know how to do that, you need to check out that video. Show some support and hit the like button if you like this content. And also subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. So let's get started. First, you need to go to the Site Tools panel for the domain that you want to add the email for. There you go to the email options, click on it, and then select accounts. Now scroll down and over here you can see the email address that I already have created for this site. It's a private email so I will blur it out, doesn't matter. If you don't have an email address yet, you can add one, you can create a new email account. Only thing you have to do is add an account name in this field, for example info info add and then and the last part will be the domain name then you need to add a password click on the orange create button and that's it so I already have created this email and the next step is you need to click on this hamburger menu over here you click on it then select the option mail configuration select it and then click on the manual settings tab and over here you can see the info that is necessary to add this email account to Outlook. So first thing I want to do is I want to select the incoming server. That's this one. So I copy it. And the next step is you have to open Outlook. So let's do that. And after you have opened Outlook, you go to the file option over here. Click on it. Then click on this button, the plus sign, add account. I'll select it and wait for it to load and now you can add the email address in this field over here now you need to click on this arrow over here to open up the advanced options then select I want to set up the account manually now click on the blue button now you can see a few options and you need to select the IMAP option so let's do that by clicking on it. Over here in this field you can fill in the server name. I have just copied it in the SiteGround dashboard so now I just paste it. Now I need to set the port to 993. As you can see over here. And the option below you need to set it to SSL slash TLS. Now you need to copy and paste the second server, so I go back to the Site Tools panel again. Copy. Just paste it. Now I set this port to 465. And over here I also set it to SSL slash TLS. Now click on the blue next button, over here you can enter the password, you have to make sure it's the same password that you have used when you created the email in SiteGround. So paste it in the field and then click on the blue button. Now you can see that the email also has been added in the overview with all the email accounts that I have added to my Outlook app, so now it's visible. You need to click on ready and that's it. So now you can see this is a test mail from Outlook and now you can just use the email account to send and receive emails. So that's everything you need to know to add email accounts from SiteGround to your Outlook app. I hope you learned something new by watching this video. If that's the case, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date for new videos that will be uploaded. Thank you for watching and I see you again next time.